2.2c, equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that use different numbers but they have the same value. An example of this would be one-half and two-fourths. If I drew a picture of one-half and colored in one-half, and then I drew the same circle but split it into fourths and colored in two-fourths, we would have the same amount of the circle filled in. As you can see, these would be equivalent fractions as one-half is the same value as two-fourths. They just use different numbers to represent it. To find an equivalent fraction, we must multiply the numerator or the top and the denominator or the bottom by the same number. Let's look at this in example one. Example one asks us to find three equivalent fractions for three-sevenths. Remember, to find an equivalent fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So we can pick any number we want. I'm going to pick the number two, which means I need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by two. Three times two is six. Seven times two is fourteen. Six fourteenths would be an equivalent fraction to three-sevenths. Let's pick another number. How about three? If we multiply the numerator and the denominator by three, we get nine twenty-firsts. This is another equivalent fraction to three-sevenths. This not only works with positive numbers, but it also works with negative numbers. If we have three-sevenths and we multiply it by a negative two, we would get negative six divided by negative fourteen. This is also an equivalent fraction. As you can see, I have listed three equivalent fractions that are all equal to the same value as three-sevenths. Let's look at example two. Example two asks us to find three equivalent fractions of four-thirds. Remember, we can pick any number we want to multiply four-thirds by. Let's multiply by three. Remember, we must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Four times three is twelve. Three times three is nine. Let's try one with a negative. If we have four-thirds, and how about we multiply it by negative two on both the top and the bottom, or numerator and denominator. We get negative eight over negative six. This is also an equivalent fraction to four-thirds. We can also multiply four-thirds by a variable. A variable is a letter that represents a value. Let's say we picked the letter x. If I have four times x, I would get four x. And three times x, I would have three x. All of these are equivalent fractions to four-thirds. When finding an equivalent fraction, remember, you can multiply anything by the numerator and denominator as long as it is the same number for both the top and the bottom.